This is the Congressional Cemetery. If you take a walk through here, you'll pass over 67,000 graves and quickly notice there's one that's rarely without flowers or some sort of memento. Leonard Matlovich died because of AIDS in 1988. His grave is adorned with flowers, stones, coins, flags, pins. They aren't all like this. Matlovich is special. I had to come forward and say, no more America. Since their inception, our military forces have had an absolute ban on homosexuals. Now a decorated Air Force sergeant who has had three tours in Vietnam is going to court to challenge that ban. Matlovich was one of the first service members to willingly out himself to his superiors. I knew it was big and important. Michael Bedwell was one of his closest friends. Though he did not succeed in stopping the law, he raised people's consciousness in a way that uh, it had never been done before. As many years as it took more to actually eliminate the ban, uh, he got that started. The Air Force discharged Matlovich in 1975, but he became a symbol for gay America. He had fought for his country, he had nearly died for his country, and yet they were denying him his equal rights. And a dear friend to Bedwell. We were roommates in two different cities, and uh, I was friends with him until his death in 1988. When he was diagnosed with AIDS, Matlovich told the world. This is not the parade I want to lead, believe me. But I have it. I don't know how long I have to live. And Bedwell stayed by his side. By the time he did pass, he had lost a great deal of weight. Most Veterans Day, there's a big ceremony beside his grave. Cemetery workers say that's where this wreath came from. Tonight, on World AIDS Day, there's no such fanfare. Perhaps that's fitting. Leonard Matlovich died from complications of AIDS, but he isn't remembered because of how he died. He's remembered because of how he lived. We need to never forget. We need to know our heroes. On Capitol Hill, I'm Ellison Barber, WUSA 9.